YouTube, so um, I'm back for part four of the build. Uh, didn't get very far in part three, but it was definitely a lot of work that I did. Uh, all together, I think record just me recording was like uh, three and a half hours of me out here. So and that was all my video, and definitely took up a lot of space. Uh, it took 150 gigabytes of storage just to convert the files from GoPro. Because if you guys use GoPro, you guys all know you have to convert the files, and it's a lot of hard work. Um, so, yeah, so I have to get a, <laughs> a h external hard drive because if you guys don't know, I use a Mac for all my video editing. And, uh, I have a Mac Mini, so the SSD you can only buy so big of uh, aftermarket one. So uh, I'm just gonna buy an external hard drive, and not me mess with all that converting stuff, and I'd have to convert or change all my files over. And so I'd rather not deal with it. So I'm just gonna get working, and of course, thanks for watching. Skinny fat lard, come get some dinner. <laughs>
I didn't pick and loose in this yesterday. I guess it tightened on its own or something. I don't know. But it always freaking builds up pressure and messes up my gas tanks. At least the small ones. I've never had it happen with big ones, but the small ones. Then again, that one doesn't have a really pretty much uh at least most of you should but if you don't comment saying that you want a video about it and i'll make a video about it it's pretty simple on these pit bikes uh dirt bikes are harder but yeah um, yeah i haven't told you guys already these freaking uh ground wires on here on this bike i really messed up from the previous owner Never mind, not gonna start it, forgot, no exhaust. That would have hurt my ears. Good thing that I, it wouldn't start, because if it would have started right away, that would have hurt my ears. Teenage fat lard, come get some dinner! <laughs>